It thoroughly makes me giggle. Um, I know that there's copyright law. There's um, all sorts of stuff um, where you can't, you know, market yourself as something that you're not. Right? Uh, I was just uh, checking on... Normally I throw out all the mail because it's all a bunch of fucking junk. There's nothing in your human vill that's important ever. Um, so here we are at J.P. Morgan Chase. Yeah? Letter came. Standard issue. At the bottom of it. Now, I know what FINRA is and I know what I, uh, SIPC. That's the federal insurance for the banking charter in the United States of America. FINRA being the federal insurance of, um, uh, I think it's mixed in with the national um, for the banking commission. Um, that was our insurance agency. That, so the bank has so many um, guaranteed deposits, they're not allowed to lend more than they collect. At least that's the going guise or the disguise that you fucking assholes use in this country that, I f that you don't keep clean for the kingdom from elsewhere. Um, so here we are within the letter. It also says at the bottom uh, that Chase Insurance Agency Incorporated is the CIA. <gasps> Isn't that just, like, really? Like, like, like the one, like the Central Intelligence Agency, Ch that's Chase? Oh, well, then that would explain why they collect all the banking information and have no problem oh, with national security. It's amazing. Okay, so you're able to collect all the stuff. Um, and I remember when we said, back in Immortal Things, when you guys were setting up your nation in the places I would go outside of New York, um, a bureau is where you keep the ladies, as a lady, you keep your unmentionables in a bureau. Silent. They're quiet. Yes, they are. So then why would you let the enemy join employment at the Bureau of anything in the Americas? I'm just curious. All area fucking stupid employers. Right? Because there is one employer who did tell U.S. Congress on the Continental side and on the Federation side that over everyone's dead body, um, would she allow anything that was not facially disfigured, um and anything that was not breeding material, right, to be employed in such high caliber, um, dangerous for national security should they all get jobs and collect paychecks and think that they belong and want to stay longer on someone else's dime. I also wrote the thing about uh, the red, white, and blue stripes. I said, if I was an immortal goddess and I had to go throughout kingdom, because here's what happens. It's a big world and there's sections of kingdom. It's, you say, I come from the kingdom of heaven, right? I mean, but kingdom of heaven has Valhalla. It has Allah in another color that there are maybe five colors of fruit that uh, are helpful kingdom representatives and have their families down there amongst other people that are not whatever Christian let's say um, and then we have the same thing going on in wherever I mean they're around the world like you know uh, there are kingdom representatives everywhere um, so the thing is is that there's one kingdom of heaven, and the Catholic, being my figurehead, owns it. Um, it's who started it. Uh, it's um, an immortal thing. I know that, like, my vampire in, like, the Romania and the superstitions in Western Europe, uh, Yugoslavia, the, uh, Albania, and into Russia, I greatly appreciate them. It's when you get more to the educated in the Western part of Europe and the America and uh, Canada that I start to lose my patience really fucking fast. Um, so, uh, mortals do exist. Uh, we've been here throughout all space and time. We call us star beings. I mean, you've seen...
Giza pyramids, you have summer, you have jobs in special places that have history from like the real shit, like first hand accounts. Uh huh, yeah, right. With pictures, no less. And then hand held testimony, however that works, whatever. Um, so, what I don't get is when I go around the kingdom and I say, if I'm going to give you a symbolic gesture and make a flag for the new discovery uh, part of our kingdom, um, since it's a joint venture with its, well, first of all, it's Man Drake, M A N, the Man Drake, D R A K E, which is Niklaus, and Drusilla, which is Nicole. So it is our uh, kingdom of whatever, of heaven here on earth and if I was going to put children over there uh, so they didn't they could have a place to spread out they could raise families not have to worry about being invaded or taken over so on and so forth what would I do I would go to other kingdom representatives to make sure that they were aware how to get there and where to go and I would ask them for their input on how to keep it just so and who I could count on and rely on should there ever be a dispute that breaks out on the lands. Hmm. We would go around and because not of everybody in Europe has like the best relationship with everybody else they have their own issues throughout history and whatever uh, so we say okay so the red line is maybe a time you spilled blood maybe you got your part wrong maybe it was them who got their part wrong whatever happened happened doesn't matter but some people lost their lives I don't want to get into who was right and who was wrong just the red line means somebody lost their life and it wasn't right the white line underneath the red line is what you're striving for a nice, clean, healthy land, all white for the children to enjoy, homogeneous, and be able to raise their family and meet one another and have a nice metropolis. Like, ugh, what do you want, Anthony? So, um, on the white part is where they are uh, not shedding blood, but they're able to grow in happiness. So now, being that there was only a star kingdom uh, royals, and there's never been a Negro king. I'm just curious, in America, since it was funded, the land was owned by the white king, the money to fund the voyage over and the upkeep of the land was funded by white king. Um, Hmm. Let's think what else is left. The money part, the land ownership, <laughs> right? We rely on that white guys elsewhere <laughs> to keep us safe and run the rest of whatever to keep America like great again right so um then why are you disputing with the white king elsewhere about how to keep your lands neat and tidy because I'm in New York and it's a fucking breakout of epidemiology nightmare in 1978 when I fucking came around where are we in insurance agents and in, like, national security on, uh, where did I lose you and you keep the bureau silent and homogeneous because there's access to other files that I don't need getting out. And I can't trust anything that I can't breed with. And I don't breed in weird fucking ugly ass eyes. We glare. So why do you have such an employment issue? Why do you have such a secrecy issue? Why is there such a technology issue? When man no longer needs the horse to draw the cart, the stage wagon, the, to make the wheels move, when he no longer needs the manual horse, the people starve because there are people that take care of the horse and take pride in it. There are people who run the barn, there are people who run the stable, there are people who run the farm, there are people who run the estate. They all need employment and feel needed and wanted and happy and have a place in a community. When you keep replacing them by the machines, by the magic engine that moves the cart without the horse, it becomes a problem. Now you're giving distance to shitbags. You're letting criminals move in all new territories and you don't have the manpower 
to fucking handle the amount of problems that arise. We told you that in 1900s, 1940s, and here I am in 2020 going, where the fuck have you all been? So, here is where Chase says, under FINRA, let's see, they've got, let's keep, I put a solid picture up there too. There's some FINRA SP, uh, SIPC, and then there is some CIA as Chase Insurance agents, which I just find funny. Um, so, mm, let's see. You all have a lot of cleanup work to do. I don't know what the fuck takes you all so long dragging your ass on the floor like a fucking burr.